Welcome to episode 14 of our information series, Basics of Electrostatics. Michael, we just showed a big flashover. A flashover by the Leitner bottle. What is a Leitner bottle? First, we start without the Leitner bottle. Therefore, I put this cable here. Here, I have a high voltage generator. With this high voltage generator, I charge this ball. One can see there are flashovers, but not really big ones. But why? This is a handheld flocking generator. That means I can touch it here without anything happening, even though there are 70,000 volts being charged. This is because of the attenuation on the tip. That means the energy that can be taken from this device is relatively low. The only reason why it flashed with a ball and not with my finger is because I added a small capacity. We talked a lot about the beginning of electrostatics, starting with the sulfur ball. Later on, people were charged by a ball. But the problem back then was that there were only very small charges. In 1745, Mr. Kleist tried to fill charges into a bottle and he was successful. One year later, Peter van Mischenbroek invented the bottle again. Perhaps there was already a technological transfer back then. The only difference, Mischenbroek was able to explain how it works. They've put a bottle on a metallic surface and there was a pipe in the bottle. They basically built a condensator. Our Leitner bottle consists of a plastic bottle. That's good because it is a good isolator. Mm -hmm. On the exterior, we have this copper plate. And on the inside, there is an aluminium pipe which is connected to this paper flower. That is what makes a good condensator. This cable connects the pipe with the high voltage source. Yeah. The copper on the outside is grounded. And as soon as I charge the structure up, we can see that there is charge on this paper flower. When I discharge here, there is a big flashover. That is what a Leitner bottle does. If you remember, Wimsursts added these bottles to the Wimsursts machine in order to generate a bigger flashover. And in my opinion, it improved the machine because the bigger the flashover, the more fun. I hope you like this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.